guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anastasia, if you are new here. Today, I'm just kind of strolling around Portland downtown. I'm about to meet up with my friend, grab some coffee, shoot some content for a brand, and then really wanted to stop by Zara for a like best. Honestly, lately I haven't been finding a lot of great stuff at Zara, but really want one of those vests you can wear with like jeans or underneath like coats or even on their own. I'll pop some inspo on the screen here of what I'm talking about. So really wanted to go um, check that out. So if I do have time, I might stop by, but if not, I'll just kind of take you guys along to go get coffee, to go shoot some content. And then I also, at the end of the video, want to show a few pieces that I ended up picking up from H&M, from Pixie Market, and some other stores, so stay tuned. guys it's been a few days well about a week <laughs> since the last clip you saw right before this of me talking about going to Zara and picking up at that vest and I didn't find what I was looking for but I did find a few other bits from Zara H&M and a few other stores like Pixie Market and other stories so I thought I'd share what I picked up starting off with H&M I've been literally living in stripes I'm obsessed with stripes I think they're super classic they're a classic print, pretty timeless, and I did pick up a few striped shirts. It's a little excessive, but I love. And the first one was this long button-up stripe shirt, and it's not like a classic black and white. It's kind of like this creamy beige and black stripe going down. I picked it up in a size medium, and it definitely runs a bit oversized, so um, I, I personally like the oversized fit, so I love the look of this shirt and I kind of also wanted to pick it up in an extra small to tuck in so there's not a ton of extra fabric, but I didn't. That's okay, I still love this. It's a great layering piece and perfect for that like summer to fall transition where I can just put this on top if I'm a little bit chilly or even layer it underneath like a chunky coat or whatnot when it gets a little bit chillier. I really really like this. Definitely a basic and a classic in my wardrobe. We're starting off strong with stripes so the next top that I picked up was another striped shirt and this is your basic kind of long sleeve uh, fitted top and I love this one as well because it's not just black and white it's more of a beige so a little bit darker than the last top that you saw. Definitely more beige and black. And actually, it's not your basic like long sleeve top. It has a beautiful like open back detail, which kind of goes like down to like the middle of your back. You'll see in the try on. But I absolutely love it's a fun little twist to your long sleeve basic like top. I got this as a, in a size extra small for reference because I want it a little bit more fitted to wear underneath coats going in a fall and stuff, or you can just wear it on your own during this like weird time where it's kind of like cold during the morning and then it warms up during the day so it's just a perfect top for that love it and it was only 9.99 the next top from h&m is this beautiful chocolate brown kind of like bustier style i really love this top it kind of has like a bell sleeve but nothing too dramatic it's more fitted and I got this in a size extra small because I feel like with these tops you kind of want it to fit tighter um, opposed to like something more loose. So I really love the cutout detail of 
this shirt and I love how it's ribbed as well. It's really flattering and it's kind of like a basic top but still more elevated so you can really dress it up if you do want to. I love pairing it with like some slacks or even just plain denim jeans and like loafers or booties. Super cute and love the color for fall. And lastly from H&M, I picked up these slacks and they are kind of like a plaid check combo. I don't know, um, but I really, really like them. At first I was kind of not certain because of the print. Like I love blazers in this kind of print, but I had this idea of wearing these slacks and since they're kind of tapered, you can really tuck them into like a chunky boot. So I was thinking of pairing them with a chunky lug sole boot and a oversized blazer or sweater. I'll show you in a try on here of how I thought of like styling these, but I thought they were pretty classic to have, pretty timeless as well. I got these in a size US 6 and I'm typically a size US like 2 to 4. Four. So I did size up a bit because I wanted them just a little bit looser and not like super restrictive and tight But they still also have like a good decent amount of stretch in the material and in the waist I think these would be great for the office You can definitely pair them with like a little heel maybe a sling back heel a little pump or classic white sneakers but I kind of really want to take it down a notch and dress them down with that like chunky booty and make it a little bit more street style. For Zara, I only picked up one thing and I know I said I wanted like a vest and a trouser kind of combo, um, something like this. I could not find it at all. Um, I actually did pick up something similar from Nordstrom. I liked it, but then I got home and realized that the material was just not it. So I picked up a classic pair of jeans. I believe these are, yeah, the mom fit high rise slim ankle jean. <laughs> I picked it up in a size four. Um, I feel like I sometimes have to size up in Zara, but they kind of, I guess, run true to size. I'm like between a two and four, but I do love the tapered leg style. I like how they're pretty much like black, black. Um, I just hope they don't turn like blue washing them that's what i hate with like black denim but i really like these especially paired with that like chunky like lug sole boot or maybe like a doc martin something like that so just a basic and a staple to have in my wardrobe i like to pick up some like basic denim from zara um, all year round because they're like pretty affordable as well and they're super comfy too this specific style also comes in a ton of different colors. Moving on to Pixie Market, I picked up this beautiful white top that I've been eyeing for literally a year. It's been out of stock for a whole year. I'm not even kidding. I don't know, probably a little less than that, but I saw that it came back in stock and I stand it. I got it in a size extra small and it's their like bustier, creamy like white top. Definitely more off white than stark white, I think but I love it so much. It's really similar to the H&M brown one that I showed previously, but this one is a lot heavier and thicker. It kind of has that like bell sleeve detail like ever so slightly as well, but the material is there. Like it's really good. And I mean, the price is, it's a little expensive, but definitely think it's worth it because this is a piece that you can really wear for years. And I love the bustier detail. I feel like it really adds something and elevates kind of like a basic long sleeve top. I love to pair this top with like basic jeans or slacks. I feel like it just really elevates your look. And it also comes in a black, which I'm definitely gonna pick up eventually. Lastly for Pixie Market, this was on their best sellers list and they're the tapered black trousers. I love the waist detail, like I love I just love how it's kind of like cinched in the waist and the tapered detail of like the legs. I love them so much. Also a bit pricey, but definitely great quality. It's worth the investment. Personally, I like to, I've been trying to invest a little bit more in like timeless classic pieces just because they actually like stand the test of time and I don't have to rebuy them year after year. Like I love Zara and H&M, but the quality is not always 
there and I have to replace my pieces more often. So love this style, especially paired with like loafers in the fall. Actually, you can literally wear them all year round with sandals in the summer and springtime. And then my favorite thing, like I mentioned previously, is wearing trousers, especially like tapered ones with chunky like lug sole boots. So I'm excited to style them like that. But yeah, just a super timeless and classic piece. The next piece is absolutely shocking. Like, I never thought that I would wear something like this. I love stripes and I love the detail of this t-shirt. I love the longer sleeves and the white collar. Really love that white collar. And it's just kind of like a good length. It's not too long or too short. You can still tuck it into your pants or whatnot. Just a really good basic to have perfect to layer underneath and also I love how it's not stark white as well it's kind of like this creamy off-white and black color I love I picked up one little thing from Sephora and it was this fragrance from Kayali is the vanilla 28 it's so beautiful for fall and winter okay hear me out I thought it was gonna be really like juvenile and like a 12 year old vanilla but it's not, it's definitely really mature. Not really mature, but more mature. Um, really warm, really cozy and musky. Let me read you the notes. It has vanilla orchid, jasmine, brown sugar, tonka bean, amber, amberwood, musk, and patchouli. I can really smell that like brown sugar and tonka bean. I think it really like elevates it from being just like a basic vanilla. It's so beautiful, super cozy, super warm and really long lasting. Like I sprayed it one time on like my neck and it was there the whole day. I really like it. And I love how it comes in like these little travel sizes as well. It's pretty affordable, a pretty affordable fragrance. This was $25, I believe. And then the bigger bottles are like 75 and like a hundred. So pretty affordable for like a fragrance from Sephora, you know, really like it. You should check it out, really good. So quickly, I'm gonna share two things that were gifted to me that I love and have been wearing over and over again this last month. And the first piece is this Lily Silk Black Silk Midi Skirt. I really like it. The material is so good. I love the slit on the side. You'll kind of see it in the picture on the side here more, but it has this beautiful slit on the side of the skirt that's not like too high, but it shows just like a little bit of the leg. And that's kind of nice since it is like a midi skirt. I got this one in a size 27 for reference, but it is a little bit big on the waist. So I would probably size down because it kind of falls down like below my belly button. I can still make it work, but I definitely would size down if I want it more like mid to like high waist, you know, but I really like it. The material is beautiful. I bought a like satin or satin silk midi skirt from Zara a couple of years ago and it's really like peeling here so the material is horrible but this one I know it's gonna last me forever because it's silk and yeah I really like it a beautiful piece to wear all year round lastly Jenny Kane sent me this beautiful sweater I love the gray I'm not a really big gray gal if I'm gonna be honest but I really like this one because it's this beautiful like light gray I love, love, love this sweater. Again, I'm really big on like good quality material. And this one, I believe it's 50% cashmere and 50% cotton. Yeah, yeah, that's that. So I know it's gonna literally last me for years. My favorite way of wearing like these kind of almost like crew neck style sweaters is with a white t-shirt underneath. I think it really like elevates the look and takes it up a notch, but it's still like super casual. I love it, it's super comfy, not itchy at all because I cannot do itchy sweaters. My skin is so sensitive, I will literally like turn red. So no itch, nothing. And I believe that this one also comes in a lot of different colors. So I'll link down below, but I really love it. And I got it in a size small for reference. So you can definitely size up if you want it a little bit more oversized, but I kind of like this one because it can wear it underneath coats comfortably and stuff. You know what I mean? So it's not super like bulky, but I really like this as well. So that's everything that I picked up. And then 
also the few bits that were sent to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be sure to link everything down below in the description box as per usual. Thank you for watching and I'll see ya next time.